So hello there guys, Malia from the Malia CFC Vlogs YouTube channel and welcome back to a new video and now today I'm repping the new away shirt but that's not describing the type of energy we've got towards this video. It's a very sad video obviously, uh, one of our star players had to go at some point, um, it was not Joel Perot, it was not Michael Oberfemi, it wasn't Matt Grimes but sadly it is Flynn Downs and he, his destination is by the time I'm recording this West Ham as he is set to have his medical in about 24 hours as I'm recording this. So yeah, um, Flynn Downs, a uh, very good player. Um, uh, in this video I'll be talking more depth into the transfer but if you do enjoy please make sure to like button, subscribe to post occasions. West Ham fans let me know your thoughts down below on what you make of this transfer you're excited to see. In my opinion, a uh, future England star um, at your club. And um, yeah, I think uh, this is going to be a good transfer for you, But for, um, for without any further ado, let's get into it. So yes, Flynn Downs, what do I have to say about this lad? He is an exceptional footballer. Um, he impressed me every time he stepped on a pitch for Swansea City. Um, I do like Flynn, he's a very good player. Um, not afraid to go in for a tackle, very confident on the ball, not afraid to go forward, can chip in with a goal as he scored one for us this season up in Huddersfield. Uh, obviously that was in the one old draw. Um, but yeah, uh, Flynn Downs obviously um, a very exceptional player, slotted in really well alongside Matt Grimes. And if he can slot in well next to Matt Grimes, think of what he's going to be doing next to Declan Rice next year. And that's going to be an interesting watch. And I'll be certainly looking out for West Ham results uh, next year. I'm very excited to see West Ham in the Premier League next year with Flynn Downs in their holding midfield position. But yeah, yeah, Flynn Downs, exceptional player. West Ham fans, you are getting yourself someone who is will fight for the badge uh obviously he's a west ham fan um as a youth obviously but he was at ipswich obviously but he's a west ham fan along with all his family um but yeah uh flynn love him to bets i think he's uh one of the best midfielders we've had in a while um we're getting some sort of significant profit over it. I think we paid just under £2 million for him and what a deal that was. Swansea City, i got to give you some sort of praise for that. Um, we have done exceptional business. But yeah, Flynn is very good, um, West Ham fans. Uh, to say the least, I think it just speaks for itself, this transfer you're paying just under thirteen million pounds, which in a few years is gonna look like an absolute sensational but sensational piece of business for you lot. Um but yeah, um I do like Flynn Downs. Um obviously as I said, the boy's like a really good footballer. I know I don't know how many times I gotta say it. He is a really exceptional footballer. He's going to play for England, uh in some point in the future, I think he's better than most Premier League centre defensive midfielders, and that's not even me being biased because he's probably not going to be our player in the next twenty four hours. But yeah, um, this deal does uh, create a uh, chain of events, um, mainly around the Swansea City area. Uh, Swans are going to be closing in on a deal for uh, Joe Allen to return to the Swans. Um, he's going to most probably be us uh, starting centre and midfielder against Rotherham, unless we make some sort of significant sign-in. But the £12 million we're getting for Flynn Downs has to be um, spent wisely. I think we need players like... I think I'd get Hannes Wolf back. Joe Allen's obviously going to be coming back. I want Shadouzi Akbeni because we need a right wing back. And him and Sorin all on the wings. Bloody hell. Um, but yeah, it has to be spent wisely. Maybe even another centre midfielder just to cover it. Because obviously Liam Walsh is now injured for the season. M mainly. Um, whether well, whether he's just faking it, I don't know. But I'm joking. But yeah, I can't wait to see Joe Allen back in the Swansea shirt. And I hopefully... Really excited to see a Super Sunday where Flynn Downs is in a West Ham United shirt. That's going to be an interesting watch because I've always really liked watching West Ham. They have a um, 
very unique style of football. They, they're they never boring to watch. So, yeah, Flynn Downs is getting himself into a really good side there. Obviously, he's going to be playing in the European Conference League now. So, that's going to be a good watch. But, yeah, wish Flynn nothing but the best um, in the upcoming season or seasons. Because the boy is going to be playing for England soon. And West Ham fans... You will realise what I'm saying when he steps on into the London Stadium. Whoever you've got in the first game of the season, um, I wish you the best of luck for the season. Obviously, if we go up, we'll see you soon. But yeah, uh, Flynn Dowds is a West Ham United player and Joe Allen is close to securing a move back to Swansea. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. West Ham fans, let me know in the comments below what you make of this transfer. Is it a good bit of business for you? Do you not rate the sign-in? Let me know in the comments. So that's going to be it for the video, guys. Hopefully you all enjoy. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. West Ham fans, let me know in the comments what you think of the Downs deal. And... Swansea fans, let me know what you think of the Allen deal. So, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, you all enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you in a bit at the Swans.